What's going on guys? Hope you had a fantastic Halloween. Today's video is going to be the first part of a series called PA School Interview Tips and today's video topic is going to be the most common interview questions. Here we go. So the questions that I came up with are strictly based off my experience and the experience of fellow peers that are applying to PA school this cycle. I've had four interviews already, but I'm gonna go over very common traditional interview questions that I've been asked at multiple PA school interviews so that you can be well prepared for your PA school interview and rock it. The first question I'm gonna go over that I think is the most common question is why PA? or why did you decide to pursue a career as a PA? And this question is very open-ended and it's a way for you to explain your experiences, your education, your background, and tie it all together on how you chose the PA route. And with this question, I think it's really important to highlight experiences that you have that you think make you a very qualified or you know competitive applicant for a PA program. When I explain my experiences and how I became interested in the PA field. I mentioned that I didn't have this one life-changing moment or this one life-changing interaction with a patient. It was more an accumulation of all my experiences together and trying out different things to see what fit my personality the best. And I also included, you know, my experiences shadowing and my work experiences as a physical therapy aide. The second most common question that I ran into was, tell me something about yourself. And with this, you don't really want to tell them a life story, but similar to why do you want to become a PA, if they haven't asked you that, you can kind of build up on your experiences and tell them how you've gotten to this point, what, what have you done in the past, what you know organizations, groups have you been involved with, how has your academics prepared you to become a good PA. You can also include little unique things about yourself that you know might help you stand out as an applicant. For me, my experiences that I wanted to highlight was my work with the underserved communities and this is something that I mentioned on why I wanted to become a PA and also when I told them a little something about myself. The third most common question is, why our program? Why did you apply to our program? This question is school specific, so make sure you've done your research. And something that I recommend is don't just look on their, you know, their mission or their goals, but also look at concrete specific things that their program does, either with their students as, you know, first year students or second year students, like volunteering and giving back to community and how you really want to play a part in whatever that they do. It's okay to mention things in like their goals and missions but it's really awesome to be more specific to each program and really highlighting things that the program does that draws you to their program so the next question is what are some characteristics that you possess that'll make you a competent and qualified PA and this basically is asking you to state your strengths and how they apply to being a working PA and this I think is a great way to highlight your experiences and things that make you a competitive applicant and you really want to not only be able to list characteristics but to describe them with background information and your experiences as well. Some characteristics that I mentioned was that I'm dependable, I'm passionate, and I'm hardworking. With these three things, I highlighted different events and experiences in my life that helped to solidify and reaffirm that these characteristics are things that I possess and will make me a good PA. The next couple questions are behavioral questions, which I'll also go over in another video. For me, I think I got a lot more behavioral questions in the traditional interviews than I expected. And when I'm talking about behavioral questions, I mean stuff like, tell me about a specific experience or tell me about this specific experience and how you handled the situation. To be more specific, I got asked, tell me about a specific situation where you handled stress and how did you overcome that situation? So you're going to be definitely asked behavioral questions on how you've handled experiences in the past and how that's made you a stronger individual. So with the question of tell me about a time you had to handle a stressful situation, I mentioned a work experience where my boss was sick and ended up not coming in, but we still had to take on same patient workload, basically how we overcame that situation and how that made me a stronger worker and individual. 
You can also talk about, you know, academics, your volunteer work, and, you know, just your work with different organizations where you've had to either juggle a lot of things or handle a lot of things in a short period of time, anything that you consider stressful. But you want to keep it fairly related to kind of the PA field. So your work, your academics, your volunteer. You can even include sports or social activities, but I recommend that you stick more closely with, you know, work, volunteer, and academic experiences. So the last question that I got asked that every single interview is do you have any questions for us with this question the worst response to have is no I do not have any questions do not say that you want to make sure you have questions prepared beforehand but also when you're interacting with your interviewer you want to kind of get a feel for who they are and if they do describe their background you know ask them about their background my go-to question with my interviewers they were mostly PAs and faculty and professors and my go-to question was, you know, how did you get to this point right now to be working for this program? And how has your experiences shaped your journey on becoming a PA or being an important member of this program? All right, that concludes part one of PA school interview tips. And stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys, again, had a wonderful Halloween. Don't forget to be like my blood type. Be positive. See you guys in the next one. Peace.